What's up, Huckers? Big Country here, and we're gonna do another disc review. Today, we're gonna review the G Star Gator from Innova Champion Discs. The Gator is somewhat of an underloved mold. Um, a lot of hardcore disc golfers really like it. It's got extremely low glide, it's very, very meat hooky, very beefy, and uh, it doesn't have a lot of skip. It's got a nice bead, so it wears really well. So today, we're going to test the brand new, just released on the end of a factory store, G-Star Gator versus a regular Star Gator, the Gator I normally use, and a CFR, that's Champion Fundraiser, Jolly Launcher Gator. Uh, we're going to test them against each other here in the field, and then we're going to test them on the course and see which one wins out. G-Star Plastic has been extremely popular and this blend that they come out with in the factory store is by far the pearliest and the most beautiful. It's also very gummy. So let's take them out and see which one works. Now, the Gator is not a disc that I keep in my bag at all times. I'm pretty much a rock guy. I just keep rock mid-ranges because they cover a very pretty much all my shots, especially here in this Colorado elevation. But if there's a really stiff headwind or I know there's a condition where I'm going to need something to go left quickly on a course, that's what I'll throw a gator in the bag. And like I said, my preferred gator is this American Flag Star Gator, so it's going to be the one we're going to throw first. If you can see my end of a skill shot basket down there, that's around 250 to 270 feet. We're throwing into a headwind, it's a mild headwind, but it's still a headwind nonetheless. So we're going to see which, uh, how these stack up. Like I said, first we got our regular Star Gator. Next up, we got our CFR Jolly Launcher Gator. These are uh, pretty new for the end of a CFR line, but they're really great. They're still pretty flexible. It's that gray Jolly Launcher plastic. This is not one of the flat tops, uh, so it might have just a little more glide than a flat top jail gator would. I would say that one was probably a little beefier uh, than the regular Star Gator. So now we're going to go with the G-Star Gator. I keep a G-Star Rock in my bag as well as a G-Star T-Bird because G-Star plastic tend to stabilize a mold. What I mean by that is it makes it more straight stable. So it makes a Rock and a T-Bird less overstable where something like a Sidewinder or a Roadrunner is going to make them more overstable. So everything is pretty stable across the board. We'll see if that holds true for the Gator. One thing to note, there's quite a bit of flashing on these if you pick one up from the end of a pro shop. You can see we ended up way left in my end of a skill shot. As predicted, the Gators ate up the headwind like it was no thing. Here's my trusty Star Gator. It's probably the closest to the basket. And part of that's because I've used it so much, so it's a little, the beefiness is a little worn out. Our Champ Gator's right here. If you could see, it's pretty much right on line with the Star Gator. If it's a couple inches shorter uh, and a little beefier. So again, this is fresh. This is the first time I'd ever thrown. It was right there on video. Now, my G-Star Gator's way out here. It's got a good 15 to 16 feet of distance on the other Gators. And even though it's farther to the left, part of that is because it just got more distance. That might be because of this grippy plastic. Maybe I got a better grip on it, so I was able to rip it out there farther. But I, I think the G-Star, like I said, it just stabilizes this a little more. So it made this a little more, little less overstable, which gave it a little more carry. So we're going to try out another little trick shot. Then we're going to try some sidearms. Then we're going to take this to the course. 
So what we've got here is a more accurate representation of what I would actually use a gator for. Something like this where I could either throw a sidearm and bring it right through the gap or take a big hyzer line. The good thing about having a really overstable mid-range, and there's some debate about this amongst good players, but this is how I feel, is I can throw a flat and let the disc do the work. I don't have to worry about manipulating hyzer angles or throwing at the right nose angle. If I have an overstable mid, even into the wind, I could throw it flat, it's going to hook up. So that's what we're going to practice here. We're still here in the field, so we're not interfering with anyone out on the course who maybe wants to play around, but we're still practicing our shots. So we're going to try the hyzer line first, and then we're going to come back and we're going to try the sidearms. First up, my trusty Stargator. made that one the basket. Next up, CFR bright green camp gator. That's butt. Last but certainly not least, brand new purple G-Star Gator right from the pro shop. Oh, One of the popular trains of thought in the disc golf community is that a nice overstable disc is best for sidearm. I tend to disagree. I think it's more about form. Not that I have that form, but that's how I feel. Nevertheless, we're going to test it out with some overstable gators. So we're going to try in the same location. We're just going to go around the other side. We're going to try with some sidearm. So first up, just like last time, my trusty go-to Stargator. Not exactly the window I was shooting for. Next up, our champ jail gator from the Bloom Tournament here in Colorado. Didn't make the gap. Last but certainly not least, our brand new G Star Gator. Hey, finally. We're here at hole 14 at Cumberland Green, which is my local course. It's pretty short in the current pin position. It is at 243 feet, which is right about gator range for me. Like I said, low glide, the thing's an overstable brick. Now we have a couple different uh, ways we can attack this hole. We can go with the sidearm route or we can go the big hyzer route. Either way, I like to have something that's overstable and low speed. So that's what we're using the gator for. So we're going to throw with a big hyzer angle, we're going to throw with a big sidearm, and then we're going to come back, we're going to have some conclusions. So first up, throwing backhand, my trusty Stargator. Next, we'll go with our Jolly Launcher, Gator from the Bloom. Lastly, backhand, G-Star Gator. So 
So you saw some backhand. The big hyzer route on this hole is not as popular as the sidearm route. Part of that is this is a shorter course, it's frequented by newer players, or truckers as we like to call them, who really throw nothing but sidearms with high speed drivers. And this is about the distance that they can throw it. So this is a really popular hole, it's had a lot of aces on it, people using bosses and destroyers. But we're going to use something a little more appropriate, and we're going to use the gator. I'm going to try and bring it down sort of on the uh, left side of the fairway here and hope it hooks back up right. I don't sidearm my gators a lot, so this will be an interesting experiment. We saw how it worked out in the field. We'll see how it works here. First up, star gator. That was a little short and a lot high. Let's see if we can keep this champion gator a little bit lower. Lastly, purple G Star Gator. As you can see from these side arms, I've actually made a pretty perfect triangle here. Pretty proud of that. A gator's a gator. The G Star's are a little longer, the champion's a little beefier. They've all got about the same amount of dome, they've all got low glide. They're all great discs. Obviously, as you could tell from my in the bag and all sorts of other stuff I do, I'm mostly an Innova guy. So I recommend the Gator. If you have to have an overstable mid-range, this is the one to get, ladies and gents. It's got a nice small dome, it's got low glide, it doesn't skip, it's very durable with the bead, and you can't go wrong in any of these plastics. They're all great. The Star and the Champ are they're both very durable, they both got good grip good flex. The G-Star is a little gummier, it's got a little bit better grip, and this Pro Shop, Pro Shop G-Star is just, it's amazing to look at, it's super pearly. So you can't go wrong, and personally I can't recommend one over the other. I'm not one to carry around a huge amount of backups, but now I've got three Gators, and since I don't throw Gators that much, I've got Gators for the rest of my life. So go out and get you some, and make sure you huck some aces. Oh, Gator Wanchay! <laughs>